guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to be testing out another how to grow hair fast technique this is a series where I test out different hair growth techniques and let you guys know if they are worth trying if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video I post videos daily and I don't want you to miss any of them so yeah today I'm going to be talking about cayenne pepper so if you're interested keep on watching so I came across this hair growth technique online and it basically just consists of cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper is supposed to be great at improving your hair structure as well as speeding up hair growth. So I've been testing this hair growth technique out for a good month or two and I've really seen an improvement and my hair thickness as well as the growth and i know you guys be wanting these hair techniques like every week but i can't like i want to try it out long enough to actually have like actually see results i've really been loving it it actually does have some cons as well so i'm gonna go ahead and hop right into the technique and then come back and share with you guys my thoughts on it all right, so what you need for this technique is extra virgin olive oil and ground cayenne red pepper. And you're gonna go ahead and take one tablespoon or less of the cayenne pepper, put it into a bowl and whip out your extra virgin olive oil and take two tablespoons of the extra virgin olive oil and mix those ingredients together. This is how the DIY treatment looks once the ingredients are mixed together. Now you're just going to take some gloves. You need gloves for this treatment because you don't want to irritate your hands. And you're going to dip your finger into the treatment and apply directly to your scalp. I like to have my hair in sections when applying the treatment because it is easier for me to get directly to the scalp. After you apply the treatment to your scalp, you want to go ahead and massage it into your hair and this will help with blood circulation. Then you want to go ahead and apply a plastic cap to your head to make sure that none of the ingredients drip down onto your face. Keep this treatment on for 30 minutes and wash out with shampoo. This treatment should be applied twice a week for best results. So cayenne pepper has a lot of different properties that are known to accelerate hair growth. It has a lot of different vitamins in it that are great for hair in general. It has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B6. It has, um, it has folic acid, which actually speeds up cell division, which obviously helps your hair grow faster. It has magnesium, which actually helps make your blood cells stronger. And all of that contributes to hair growth. So um, I just think that overall it is a great hair growth technique, but there are some cons that come with it. You have to be very, very careful, very, very careful when using this technique. And if you are a person who like has like a sensitive scalp or anything like that, I suggest you not do the technique at all because it will irritate your scalp, especially if you use a lot. So a little goes a long way. So my thoughts on this technique is that a little goes a long way. Um, all of the hair growth recipes involving cayenne pepper that I saw online said to use one tablespoon, but honestly, I think that a tablespoon is too much. Um, I think that you can use like two teaspoons or even just one teaspoon and you should be fine. So for my technique, I decided to use olive oil and cayenne pepper um, because I love olive oil. I think it really moisturizes my scalp. So um, there's different recipes using cayenne pepper that you can try out online. You can use eggs, you can use 
um, castor oil and cayenne pepper, like whatever your favorite oil is, you can mix that in there and make your own mask. All this does is just stimulate your hair growth. It strengthens your hair follicles. It helps elasticity. It gets rid of dandruff. Um, cayenne pepper overall is a great technique, but just go ahead and use it sparingly. You don't need a lot. Um, one thing I did notice the first time I tried out this technique was that my ear was burning. Like, if, if a little bit drops down, you don't want it to get in your eyes, of course. You don't want it to get it, like, anywhere on your face. So, I'm assuming that a little bit got, like, on my ear and my ear was, like, red. Like, I don't know what it was, but, like, my whole ear had turned red and irritated. So... Um, you want to make sure you're using like a plastic cap every single time. You don't want it to drip into your eyes or your face or anything like that. Rinse your hair out in the sink where you can like dip your head over and that will help with like the residue getting onto your face and stuff because when you get into the shower, like the odds are that all of that stuff is going to end up like on your face and that's what you don't want always use gloves when applying the mask onto your scalp because you don't want to irritate your hands as well on um, longer than the suggested time so 30 minutes get your timer out and time it exactly 30 minutes or less not longer because you don't want to irritate your scalp you don't want to cause any type of scalp burning sensation or anything like that and if you do feel your scalp burning rinse it out immediately um you do supposed to feel like a tingling sensation a little bit of a um a little bit of like a i don't know how to explain it but more than tingling you know how like you put some mask on and it tingles a little bit it's supposed to tingle a lot like it's supposed to be very very tingling but it does not supposed to burn like it does not supposed to hurt you in any type of way so if you feel any type of pain or burning sensation rinse it out immediately overall i give the hair technique a six out of ten i'm having problems speaking today for some reason but um yeah i give it a six out of ten and I think that it has like a lot of good properties and it really does grow your hair um, faster. Um, and if done right, you can get up to an inch and a half in a month. So that is a plus. I think my hair grew about an inch in a month. So that's great because the average hair growth is a half an inch a month. So yeah, I really, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Hit the bell. The notifications will go straight to your phone. You can follow me on any of my social media at Miriam J. Hampton. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You got my hip bone and it's at my hips. Yeah, so my hair is growing a lot. It's like at my hips now.